Lorraine Kelly will join other stars on Saturday to compete on the BBC One game show The Wheel, hosted by Michael McIntyre. The daytime TV host will join Gemma Collins, Dara O'Brien, Fred Sirix, Rochelle Humes, Jordan Banjo and Liam Charles try to help three contestants win a fortune. Lorraine is well known for her energetic presence on British television, speaking to a number of high-profile guests on her ITV show, she is also far from hesitant to say what she thinks at times, as seen when she gave her verdict on a film about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle titled Harry and Meghan, Escaping the Palace. Lifetime's movie is a dramatized take on the life of the Sussexes. In September, Lorraine said of the film, Oh God love them, that looks hideous. It really does. As if their life's not insane enough, they've got that. What a blinking shit. Escaping the Palace is the network's third film inspired by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The first, Harry and Meghan, a royal romance, was released in 2018 and was a dramatization of the couple's early romance. The second, Harry and Meghan, Becoming Royal, came out in 2019 and was inspired by the pair's first few months as a married couple. Escaping the Palace stars Jordan Dean and Sidney Morton as the royal couple. The latest film was criticized by many, with IMDb rating it just two. Five tenths. Last month, Lorraine also discussed whether the Sussexes could be about to be forced to give up their titles. The TV presenter was joined by the Mirrors Russell Myers as they discussed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's TV appearances in the US. She explained, I've always said it was, I totally get where they're coming from, it's a difficult one, I think there will be a tipping point where they will have to give up their titles if they want to go into politics or do more. But they will still be Harry and Meghan, they will still have clap. Mr. Myers responded, the issue is they banned a lot of the press who were unfriendly to them, and if you're not prepared to take criticism, you need to take a look at yourself about what you're doing. Surely you're better changing things from the inside rather than the outside in. Meghan had just spoken to American TV host Andrew Ross Sorkin. During that interview, she explained how her mental health has improved since taking on a more independent lifestyle outside of the royal family. Meghan said, I'm feeling much better about everything, thank you. Meghan was also asked this week by Mr. Sorkin whether she had anxiety about being involved in politics. During the conversation titled, Minding the Gap, Meghan responded, I don't see this as a political issue, frankly, there's certainly a precedent amongst my husband's family and the royal family of not having any involvement in politics, but I think this is patently, from my standpoint, just a humanitarian issue. This week, makeup artist Daniel Martin, who worked with the Sussexes in New York, said the couple are enjoying their life with their kids, Archie and Lilibet Diane. He told People magazine, it was so much fun to have all of us back together again. It was chill and relaxed, like the gang was back together. Harry jokes around a lot, and Meghan is really funny. It was nice to have those belly laughs again. They are loving life as a family. They've struck a rhythm as a foursome.